rock of the day. Today, I have specular hematite. As you can see, it's quite glittery and shiny. And I found this at the Champion Mine Dump in Champion, Michigan, about 40 minutes west of Marquette. Hematite comes in many different varieties, such as hexagonal, kidney ore, massive, micaceous, and specular. So the majority at Champion is specular, which is all this kind of glittery you're, you're seeing. But there's also the micaceous variety, where it kind of looks like flakes of mica. That name is deceptive because it is not actually mica, it is just hematite. This mineral is formed in a shallow water ocean by dissolved iron in the water reacting with oxygen in the atmosphere. At this time, oxygen in the atmosphere was a fairly new thing. This is in the first few million years of it even existing. And as it reacts, it would accumulate on the ocean floor. So this is basically what you could think of as just a bunch of iron sand just being pressed together. The chemical formula for this is Fe2O3, so it's just an iron oxide, it's pretty simple. This is one of the primary ore that was uh, mined in the Marquette Iron Range. And I also have this here, which is essentially the same rock, but there's one major difference. So if I take a magnet, nothing happens. Go to this one, oh, so it's hematite, but it's magnetic. We call that magnetite. And as you can see, it has a bit more of a red tinge. If I were to take a streak plate, like this, we'll take hematite. It's black. And we'll take magnetite. And it's red. More like a reddish brown. So, when hematite, like this, is subjected to intense heat during metamorphism, that can change the, the, the magnetization of the molecules. So the metal becomes magnetized through that heat. It's a pretty cool process. But usually with this, you're gonna get a higher iron concentration when you mine it. So it's pretty cool.